Sometimes on this channel, I give my insight into really pressing political matters, and I try to explore the deeper philosophical, historical, anthropological, even theological uh, basis of those political issues. And sometimes my producers play dumb cartoon clips in front of me and I laugh at them. Yeah! This would be one of the latter occasions. We take it away with South Park. We got a lot of responses, so let's read some aloud. <clears throat> Mr. Mackey is gay. <laughs> okay, kids, that's not funny, okay? This box is supposed to be used for serious questions about, about serious issues. Okay, let's, let's stop the tomfoolery. Okay, let's look at the real one here. Dear Mr. Mackey, you are gay. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, that's enough, kids. Let's quiet down and try to be mature, okay? Well, here we go, okay. Mr. Mackey, sometimes my parents hit me, and you are gay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, is there not one serious question in here? That's where you learn the meaning of the word gay. Like, words take on different meanings, you know? Gay could mean happy light time. Gay could mean, you know, a little light in the loafers. Gay can is kind of like lame or stupid is the meaning in elementary school. And then we were we were all told, no, it can only mean this. It can only mean, you know, you're part of the Rainbow Coalition. Huh. Never thought of it like that. Why why do they get ownership of the word gay? If I think of the the place, the group of people who most consistently use the word gay, it is the elementary school kids using it to mean lame or dumb. I've been having sexual fantasies about some of the other guys at school. What? Give me that. Why don't, why doesn't their meaning of the word prevail? Hey Clyde, can I talk to you? Sure, bro. Well, um, Wendy just came up to me and was acting all hurt because she thinks I don't care about her. Uh-huh. When she said that she wishes I would reply to her text the way that Clyde responds to babies, so like, how do you do it? Chat GPT, dude. <laughs> Chat GPT? Yeah, dude. There's a bunch of apps and programs you can subscribe to that use OpenAI to do all your writing for you. People use them to write poems, write job applications, but what they're really good for is dealing with chicks. Here, check it out. There's tons of ChatGPT apps for your phone. So then I can take whatever latest dumb thing Bebe texted me, I copy it, then I open the GPT app, click respond to, paste her text here, hit write, it just thinks for a second. You would look great with any length of hair, trying a new look could be fun. Copy that into messages and send it off. It's super easy and convenient, and it saves me a ton of time because she texts me so damn much. I probably won't do it, but thanks for being supportive. Cut, paste, write, cut, messages, paste, send. There. <laughs> All done with her stupid sh That's obviously happening. Oh my god, it's so obvious. That's obviously it. I was thinking people would use this to cheat on tests and to get jobs and do their work and everything. But no, as with all new technology, not the only, but the main use of it, is to channel our lusts. And so that's obviously, it's it's just a robot Cyrano de Bergerac. Hey, what's going on? Is your girlfriend home? Uh, she's sort of busy right now, Miss Swanson. Just want to tell her no hard feelings about me winning the strong woman competition. Yeah, you, you already told her that at the competition. You got a problem with me? Because it's starting to seem like you have a problem with me. What's going on? Oh, hi, Heather. I was just stopping by to make sure you're not too beat up. Oh, that's... Really cool. I'm sorry, but I have all the kids right now, well, and they're- where are the little kiddos? I'd love to meet them. <laughs> oh, hey, kids. Well, there's a lot of you. Your mom must be a strong woman to take care of all of you. Of course, I have the strong woman trophy, though. <laughs> just kidding, right? Look, why don't you just get out of here? Ooh, sounds like someone here is a transphobe. <laughs> don't you dare. I'm trans people's biggest supporter. What I think you are is a terrible sport! Transphobe, you better knock it off! Just don't, you're gonna upset the PC babies. And if you dare call me a transphobe again, I'm gonna- You're gonna what? Beat me up? You're gonna beat me up, transphobe? Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> see you later, kids. Come on over and see old Auntie Heather if you want to see what a real strong woman is like. That's it. That's what, and what are you going to say about it? It's not that you're even physically intimidated by these hulking men masquerading as women. It's that you're politically intimidated because they can ruin your life with just that one word. There's so much more to say first, though. Go to puretalk.com slash Knowles. For years, people have been switching their wireless service to Pure Talk to save money. 20 bucks a month for unlimited talk, unlimited text, and tons of data. It's a no-brainer. Over the last few weeks, however, Pure Talk has reported a surge of new customers signing up 
to help them support a charity that is near and dear to their hearts and our hearts. That is America's Warrior Partnership. Many of my listeners have chosen to step away from Verizon, ATT, and T-Mobile to switch to Pure Talk and help this great charity and get to do business with a company that shares our values, supports our vision for the country. That is why Pure Talk has decided to extend their support for AWP through Independence Day. From now through the 4th of July weekend, Pure Talk will match every dollar donated. Switch your cell phone service to America's most dependable 5G network with Pure Talk. Go to puretalk.com slash Knowles, Canada WLAS, to start saving on wireless today. That is puretalk.com slash Knowles. These guys are great. I got the phone. I got the service. You can use it in America and you can use it overseas. And they support really, really great causes that we all believe in. puretalk.com slash Knowles. Can you tell me why everyone is calling me Karen? Don't worry about it. Well, everybody keeps calling me Karen, and I don't get it. Is it is it like a joke or something? Karen is a pejorative term for a white person who acts overly entitled and demanding. Okay, well, that's f***ed up. Don't you think that's a little, like, sexist? I didn't start it. Well, who did? The internet. So, so now somebody is a Karen just because they want to be treated with some respect? I deserve to not have people walk all over me, okay? I have the right to call the cops when things happen. That's fine, Karen. It's just a pejorative term for white women. And because it's for white people, it's one of the few pejorative terms you're allowed to use. Is there an alpha Karen who can speak for all of you? First of all, I want you to know I'm filming this. Even with women, you're not really supposed to insult women, but if they're white women, it's okay. And if you object to that, then you're a big Karen. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, no! Jenny! What? Look, he's doing it. (laughs) I'm just blown away by the animation. You know, this is... One of the most successful cartoons of all time, and I love that they've never strayed that far from their roots. Randy, could you have a talk with Stanley? Why? What's the matter with him? It's just that, well, he's been acting a little different lately. Ah, ta. Ah, ta. (laughs) He's been ignoring his homework and all of his friends. I can't figure out why. Ah, ta. Ah, ta. Oh, boy. Looks like he's starting to notice breasts. Oh, yes. Our little Stanley's starting to become a man. Ata! Ah, Ata! Hey there, son. Oh! Ata! Ata! Yes, Ata. Let's have a talk, Stan. Ta! <laughs> Stan, as you get older, boobs, with these Ata, will start becoming a major part of your life. Ata! But, Stanley, you can't let them get in the way of your friends. There are a lot of boobs out there, son, but they're just boobs. Your friends are forever. It's actually even deeper than it seems because the word fetish refers to idolatry. And that's what's happened here to poor Stan. And that's what ha- could happen to all of the men if we allow our lusts to run away with us. We, we become idolatrous barbarians. We frequently do that, actually. You've got to try to tame that desire. That's it. Stay tuned for me laughing at more cartoons the next time producers run out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs>